Hi y'all, she was seven. So I hope everyone had a good Halloween. It is now November, so welcome to November. And everyone knows, like I do readings, right? I do card readings, tarot readings, um, oracle readings, all that kind of stuff, okay? And also do relationship advice as well. Now I had a reading over the weekend where uh, one of the ladies who I was you know, reading cards for, she wanted to know if her husband was on the DL or gay. And they have two kids, you know, they're like, you know, young children, not, not very old, but like probably in elementary school. And she's been having issues in her marriage and she feels like he's not into her anymore and that he treats her bad and this 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 and that and she's just very unhappy so um she, uh, she got a reading at first to see you know you know what was it in store for her and the reading the first reading said that he was most likely cheating the second reading said that um that she asked about him being gay, it confirmed that. And so she went to, you know, talk to him. And she was like, you know, I need, I just really want to talk to you. I'm not judging you. I just want to know the truth, blah, 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 blah. Have you ever been with a man? And he was, and he, he broke down and he admitted the truth. And he said, yes, I have. And I have, you know, I feel that way about guys and, you know, blah 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 and so she you know she confirmed that he was in fact inter interested in men and now she's been in this marriage for a while she has two kids by him and she's kind of stuck now because she you know invested into her marriage and let me tell y'all remember what I told y'all about getting with those pretty boys he's a pretty boy okay he looks way better than her and that's what happens you know either they're cheating with a woman or they're cheating with a man if you if you marry a pretty boy and you're not as more beautiful than he is then you're gonna always have issues you're gonna have issues with him not being interested in you with him cheating because he gets so much attention from both sexes he can get attention from a woman he can get attention from a man because he is very very attractive and some men have a price on them okay some men might not start off as gay or be gay, but if someone with some money offers him, you know, a large sum of cash or money, if they would, you know, be with them, whether it's a man or not, some guys are just going to take it. Okay. Now I'm not trying to scare y'all or anything, but this is the stuff that happens on a daily basis. So be careful with those pretty boys. Okay. Don't, I wouldn't even go near one anymore because I'm already suspect. Like I'm not. I'm married, but, you know, before I was married, I was already suspect of pretty boys. I was like, mm, he's too pretty. His eyebrows are too nice. He's gay, you know, or he could be easily turned, you know. So, no. Especially if they're broke. If they're broke and pretty, they can easily be turned gay, okay? And nothing, you know, there's, I have nothing against gay people. I love gay people. I'm just saying, if you are trying to find a straight man to get married to and you're a straight woman and you don't want to have to deal with the, um, you know, finding out your man is gay after you already had kids, you have to watch out for the signs, okay? Because it happens every day. <sighs> okay, so moving on. Moving on from that. Um, uh, someone asked me to do a video on how to tame your man. Like, once you get married, once you're in a relationship, how do you make your husband do right and do all the good stuff that you want husband to do? Um... <laughs> there's so many ways y'all but a lot of them are not moral <laughs> a lot of them are almost cruel but you know it works so I mean a lot of women have to threaten guys in order to do right and that's just a shame you know they have to threaten their income their reputation you almost have to blackmail them seriously because Especially if you marry a younger guy, you know, you're going to have to blackmail them. You're going to have to tell them, you know, if you don't do this, I'm going to do that. You're going to have to scare them. You're going to have to put the fear of woman in them. <laughs> you're 
you're, you're going to have to let them know how bad their life is going to be if they keep messing up. You have to paint a picture, you know. You're going to have to make them afraid to mess up, you know. And, you know, a lot of women say, well, they're, then they're going to think I'm too controlling and this, this, and that. You don't have to do it with control. You can do it in a subtle way, you know. You can, you can do it in a sarcastic and subtle way. You don't even have to argue with them. Like, for example, if you think your man or your husband <clears throat> is cheating on you and you want him to do right or whatever, you know, if you think so, don't don't even get an argument with them. Just, like, mention it on the side, you know. You know what? If you ever cheated on me, <laughs> it is so funny. Um, I don't ever think I could forgive you. And I would, I, would, I would turn into one of those women who would take, like, half your stuff and file child support on you and have you, you know, and and make your life so miserable. I would I would so do that. I, I was watching this movie and I, this this lady found out her husband was cheating on her and she didn't do anything and she started, you know, she ended up without anything, living poor with her child. I said, that's never going to be me. If I, if I ever catch my man cheating, I'm going to hire a lawyer the same day. He won't even know. Keep Put that in the back of his mind, okay? Also, like, just give them scenarios of what you would do and what you wouldn't do. But don't be mad at them. Just, like, smile. It's like, I dare you to try it, you know? Um, and then it's like, you know what? I was, on, I was on the Internet yesterday, and did you know that, you know, you can be put on, you know, uh, this lady put her, child, her husband on child support, and they weren't even divorced yet. And it, it's legal. And let him know that, too. Like, and also... Let him also know that, uh, you know, if you get another woman pregnant, you're going to have to pay two child supports because I'm not staying with you. <laughs> you know, you just have to let them know before they even mess up. You have to put the rules out there before they even mess up. And they don't have to be like, you have to do this, 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 and that. Just like, you know what, if you ever do that to me, that's what's going to happen. And I'm, you know, I'm telling you now. I'm telling you now, this is fair warning. And you got to put it out there. And if, and if you're already married and you haven't put the rules out there, you got to put them out there now, okay? Let's just say you want him to do the dishes or cook or help you out around the house. And, you know, he doesn't feel like that's his responsibility. Um, well, just stop doing the housework. Don't wash any dishes. Let them pile up. See what he does. You know, if he doesn't get up and clean it up, then let it stay like that. Get some paper plates. Let it go as long as he lets it go. And if he doesn't ever get up to clean it or anything, you know, just keep doing the paper plates. I know it's going to bug you if you're like a clean freak, but this, you're, it's a, it's a war. You have to prove the point. You have to say, you know what, I'm, I'm not cleaning those dishes. I'm tired. It's your turn. If you don't clean them dishes, they're going to stay there. They're going to be there tomorrow and the next day and the next day and the next day. <sighs> He will get up and clean them. Yes, he will. Um, or he'll throw them away and buy you some new dishes. Either way, you'll get what you want. So you have to kind of go on strike to get with, with what you want. You have to withheld anything from him. Cooking, any type of cleaning, any type of sex, any type of anything if you want him to do right. If you want him to do laundry, stop doing laundry. Make him put the effort in. Say, so, you know what? I'm tired of doing laundry. I hate doing laundry. My back hurts. Let the laundry pile up. Let the laundry pile up. Wash your clothes when he's not home. But don't wash his. Okay? Let it pile up. and Let him do his own laundry. If you want, if you're trying to control a man to like, you know, do whatever you say or whatever. Like, oh, honey, I want you to go and take the kids to the park this weekend. I want to go to the beach this weekend. Let's do this, like that. And he just wants to sit on the couch and watch TV. Have the TV turned off, okay? Have the cable cut off, you know? There is a switch you can switch in the back of that cable box or you can lose a wire and blame it on the cable company until, and say, well, since the TV's out, let's go. You know, some of these things you just have to do. And it's, it's, that's just how it's done, you know. It doesn't start controversy. He don't know what happened. <laughs> uh, take the wireless signal off, you know. Uh, just do something smart. 
and like he won't know and then but you have to be the one to bring it up you have to be like oh my god my my wire the wireless is down the wireless is down oh my you know you have to be the first one to say it because otherwise he'll get suspicious you got a trick you got a trick man they don't they're not gonna do good on their own you got to trick them okay and then once they get a taste of the things that you like and what makes you happy then they'll start doing it more often because they know it makes you happy okay um, and while you're out doing the thing that makes you happy, let him know. It's like, oh my God, I love spending time with you. I love doing this kind of stuff. I love it when you wash dishes. I love it when you help me with laundry. You're just like the perfect man. I can I couldn't ask for a better man. So he's gonna be like, oh really? She like when I do laundry. She like when I wash dishes. She likes when I go out with her, with the kids. Okay, note to self. So next time he'll probably suggest it. You know, and if even if you have to do it a few times more, you know, with the cable and the Wi-Fi just do it you know it's it's worth it and he's not gonna figure it out <laughs> and if he does just say you know what that's the only way I could tear you away from the TV you're addicted you know you don't want to spend time with your family I did it for us baby I did it for us <laughs> Dr. Phil said <laughs> you know blame it on Dr. Phil don't blame it on me okay so Yes, you almost have to trick people in order to get them to do right, you know, but they don't know they're being tricked and it's basically their own decision. So you're just kind of nudging them in the right direction without, you know, getting upset, you know, and the, the going on strike thing without cleaning and stuff. That's, that's something that, you know, not everyone's going to be able to do because they have too much you know going on in their house and they have to keep it clean but if you can afford to do that if you have the you know if you have the time if you don't have enough going on and you can actually do that I would do it because I did that I my husband he 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 was like the king of piling up dishes and not rinsing them out or washing them out or putting them in the dishwasher he would just throw it on there leave it wherever it was expect me to do all the dishes one day I just got sick and tired and that stopped I was like I'm not doing any more dishes I'm done and I didn't do dishes for a month and it didn't pile up because he would wash it every now and then he would he would wash a few plates or he would wash the, all the dishes and I washed dishes I washed dishes but he was not appreciative of it because he would not rinse the dish out he would just leave it wherever it was he would just pile stuff up he wouldn't care so now I gave him a taste of his own medicine and then he started washing dishes and I started piling them up to show him a lesson, you know. I was like, yeah, how does it feel? This is what you did to me. <laughs> and then he made the rule, okay, no dishes in the sink. Everybody has to rinse out their dish and put it in the dishwasher because I don't want dishes in the sink anymore. Now he took over the dishwashing rules and responsibilities. So now, whenever there's dishes in the sink, you know, They'll either be rinsed out already or put up or it'll be just a few that only one of us has to tackle. So y'all have to like make it seem like it was his idea. Okay. It's like I'm tired of dishes. I'm done with dishes. No, my nails. You do them. Or I'm not going to do them. I'm not doing dishes no more. It's your turn. You know, stand your ground. They're not going to fight you over dishes. They're not going to argue with you over dishes. They're not going to say anything over dishes. They're just going to think you're crazy and that's okay because when a man thinks a woman is crazy he don't know what she can do next so he's not gonna try her okay <laughs> okay so I have another one I'm gonna try to wrap it up real quick okay so I think I'm gonna have to do like a cut and then come back because my time's about to run out okay y'all got cut off so Yes, a lot of women who don't want their husbands like out there sleeping around with other women and getting other women pregnant. I know a lot of women who have done this. And you can't tell your man that, you know, this is the reason. But a lot of women suggest that their men get vasectomies, which means, you know, they can't get pregnant by, you know, they can't get anybody else pregnant or them pregnant. So if you're done having kids and you want your man you know, sterilized. <sighs> Not really sterilized, because it is reversible. Like, if you ever wanted to have another kid, or if y'all got divorced, he could get a reverse. And it's not that expensive. It's like $500. Okay? And <clears throat> believe me, it's worth it. So, if you get, 
if you suggest that your uh, husband gets a vasectomy, all you have to do is tell him you're not having sex with him without a condom or anymore unless he gets a vasectomy because you are not want to, you don't want to take birth control pills anymore if you're on the pill or whatever. Or just say you don't want to have to, you know, uh, take birth control pills anymore because it's messing with your hormones and it's not good for you and it causes this and that. So just say, you know, I want to get off these pills if you're on pills or I don't want to take that shot anymore. You know, just something, you know, say I don't want to use this anymore. So I just thought I need you to go get a vasectomy so that, you know, you don't, we don't have to do this and we don't have to do that. But until then, I really don't want to have sex or use condoms because I don't want to risk getting pregnant because I'm off these pills. You know, just until he gets it, don't give it, don't give it up. Um, <laughs> this is a way to guarantee you not having any, uh, half brothers and sisters for your kids. Okay. Um, and I'm not saying your husband's going to cheat, but just in case he does, or, you know, whatever happens, happens, he's not going to, you know, his income is not going to be affected by another woman trying to get child support from him. So it's not going to affect your household. So if you can convince your man to get a vasectomy, do that, okay? Um, Y'all, I, I, I tricked my husband into getting one because I had, actually I had my tubes tied. And uh, if, even if you have your tubes tied, there is a like small percent chance that you can still get pregnant um, or it, or have like a what they call an ectopic pregnancy which can kill you and the child so you know I, I was not gonna risk that so I told him he didn't know even, he didn't know me he did not even know I had my tubes tied <clears throat> so I told him that he had to get a vasectomy before we ever did anything else because I did not want to you know risk this 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 and that so he finally did it and then like a year later I told him well I have my tubes tied too <laughs> but we already have our kids and we don't want anymore so you know he was like well why didn't you tell me I was like well you needed a vasectomy I said he said you just did that so you so I wouldn't be a, you so you could wouldn't risk me going out and getting anybody else pregnant I know how women think I'm like well they say when you have a, a <laughs> I say, they say to spade and neuter your animals. <laughs> but basically, you know, because we joke like that with each other because that's how open and sarcastic I am. I joke with him a lot. But I get him to do what I want because I put ultimatums out there. You know, I was like, yeah, I'm not doing this until you do that, you know. And I make it known because a lot of women fear losing their men. And they fear this and they fear that. But when you don't have any fear of losing anybody because you know the law and you know how to put the fear of whatever into him, if he does leave and all the repercussions he's going to have to deal with in legal matters and how much money he's going to lose, he's not going anywhere. Okay? But so you have to put that in his mind. <laughs> Knowledge is power, ladies. doesn't mean you're going to do it. It just means that you know what you're doing when the time comes if you need to. Because a lot of men think women are stupid and dumb and and think with emotion. But if you have your plan together already before it even happens and he knows it, he's not gonna do he's not gonna mess over you because he knows that you know how to get things done quick and the right way in order to make his life hell, okay? And they know once a woman is scorned, it's over for them, okay? They know that. So you gotta put that in their mind. You have to scare them away from leaving you, okay? And that way, when you want to tell them something or suggest something, you don't have to fear them leaving because they already know what's going to happen if, if they do, you know? I told you it was immoral, but it works, okay? So, a lot of men will be upset about this. A lot of women will say, I don't think that's right. Well, if you want a firm handle on your husband, if you want a... Uh, to go to sleep at night without fearing he's leaving you or going to cheat or bring kids into this world with a side chick and all this stuff. You have to put all those things into consideration and weigh your options, you know. <laughs> um, so a, a lot of women will be able to do this because 
the type of man they marry, okay? If you marry the type of man who does not want to lose you because you're a prize to them, you know, they're going to they're going to follow whatever you ask them to do, you know. If you do it in a in a way that's not, you know, belittling them, you know. But you don't have to talk down to them. You can just suggest things, let them know that you know things, knowledge, and joke around with them but be serious at the same time, you know. Um And you can get it done. A lot of women will nag. Nagging is not the way to get something done from a man. You have to either make them fear losing you or let them know that you know how to handle your business if he leaves you, okay? Um, so, yeah, that's all. <laughs> so, ladies, stay away from pretty boys unless you look better than him, way better. Um, uh, you know, but your husband know, you know how to get what you need. If something ever goes south, the ins and the outs, the laws. And if you don't know, go study right now your state laws um, for divorce, pending divorce, separation, child support, and all that stuff. Because if he knows that you know all that stuff and knows how to get it, where to go and do this, 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 and that, and that you don't have to be divorced to get it, he's, he's going to stay in line. He's going to be like, oh, shoot. She knows how to get half my money, you know. <laughs> okay, so I will let I will leave it at that. And if y'all have any questions, put them in the comments, and I'll try to answer them. All right.